What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys another command line system monitor for Linux called Bashtop. Now as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys Bashtop, which is a command line system monitor for Linux. One unique thing about this utility is it's written completely, completely in Bash. So you can actually go to the GitHub and look at the over 5,000 lines of code just by looking at the actual application in a text editor. Now, if you've been using Linux for a while, you've probably heard of the top utility as well as HTOP or possibly Glances. Well, Bashtop is just pretty much another creation of one of those command line system monitoring tools. And we all know how important these type of tools are, but this one just looks pretty cool. And I wanted to show you guys that I typically go around and look for different programs that are out there for the Linux operating system and try to enter introduce them to you guys on my channel and this is one of those ones I ran across in the arch repository and I wanted to show you guys this utility because it looks super cool but as I stated it's simply like top or H top you know it's used for monitoring your system's performance as well as like hard hardware resources kind of like in real time and we all know how important that is when you're actually running a production server environment so let me go on and go through the process of installing it as well as showing you guys how to actually use it uh with a quick demonstration so let's get started okay cool so i have the github page up for bash top uh and just to scroll up and show you it's created by a developer called aristocratos so just check him out he got a couple uh cool applications that he's written and one of them is the one we want to talk about today which is bash top now just a quick just a quick side note um the developer actually created a ported version of bash top uh to python and so it's basically called by by top which is which as i stated is simply a port over to python so it's all written in python this one this version right here is all written in python but the one i want to review for this video is bash top and let's scroll down a little bit and i just want to show you what bash top is all about but here's the description it says resource monitor that shows usage and stats for processing processor memory disk network and processes and here are a few of the features uh i'll just read a couple of them but it says easy to use with a game inspired menu system uh fast and mostly responsive ui with up down key process selection a uh, function for showing detailed stats for selected processes you know ability to filter processes and a lot of these features are in a top and top and glances but this one just looks totally different that's why i wanted to show it to you guys so but it's a couple other features i won't read them you i want you guys to go check it out for yourself and look at the features and then i'll show you a little bit more when i actually get it installed and up on a virtual machine but if we look a little further down they also have themes uh and then you can also support the project and if we scroll down a little further there is the installation process and i'll show you you know what it looks like when i have it on the system but here's the installation process you can install it on mac os free bsd uh linux and this is the manual installation as you can see you know git clone you know download the package you know cd into it and then make install but just so you know it's in the repositories for a lot of different linux distributions like the one i'm interested in is arch it's available in the aur as a git version and then also you know the regular repository is there as well and then also if we look right here uh i don't yeah it's available in the official Debian repository since uh, Debian 11 so you should be able to install it. and then if we go down a little further uh, here is Ubuntu it says it's available in the official Ubuntu repository since 20.10 so you have to have 20.10 or above otherwise you have to add the PPA and then install like if you have 18.04 then you have to add the PPA but it's a simple add you know the repository and then uh, update and then install bash top so you should be good to go and then as well it's available on Fedora, CentOS they have the instructions here so and then also it creates a configuration 
location file. It's auto-generated. And if you can't find it, you can create one just by copying this. This is the default, I believe. Uh, and you just put it in there. But yeah, one thing I wanted to show you guys though, I'm gonna go back up to the top. Uh, I wanted to show you the actual program. Uh, so if we go right here, if you find, you know, bash top within the file directory, um, this will open up the actual program. So this is everything that's needed for the program. Uh, and it's all written in bash. Like I said, it's 5,320 lines of code. So a little over 5,000 lines of code. Um, and it's all written in bash. So I just thought that was cool. And I just wanted to point that out to you guys, but you can check it out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it. So now let's go on and install it. I'll, I'll install it on Manjaro. I'll bring it up in a second, but let's get started on that. Okay, cool. So I have my system up and running. Like I said, I was going to use Manjaro for this demonstration. This is a virtual machine. It has uh, four processors and eight gigs of memory. I just gave it, you know, overkill since I had the, you know, extra resources to, you know, just give to the virtual machine. So let's go on and start by installing bash top so i wanted to use orch because it's fairly simple to use as far as installing uh well manjaro because all you have to do is type sudo uh pacman we don't have to worry about ppas we don't have to worry about anything and it'll be the same for you but to you know as long as you use the 20.04 or better you should be good so sudo pacman uh dash s and then bash top and we can press enter and i'm not gonna update this system normally you want to update the system before you install anything but i don't want to hold up the video just waiting on a on updates to you know take place on this system because i don't think i've updated it in a while but let's go through the process it should be fairly simple and small to download because all it's doing is you know download a bash script basically and all the files that go go with it and as you can see it just finished so let's go on and open it up and play around with it now let's clear the terminal first okay so the first thing i want to do is uh i'm gonna maximize the screen before i actually run the command let's uh do Control l again that'll clear the screen and let's go on and run bash top so let's go bash top and press enter and as you can see you know it kind of pulls up it shows like some information it checks your system first while it's trying to open up the actual application and as you can see this is a pretty cool software <laughs> piece of software man and as you can see it's similar to you know htop but it has some cool graphics like up here where you can uh you know see the cpu uses you can see the cores you know the percentages uh it tells you the processor name and the average load times and if we look over here you know it has the, the memory uh which is pretty cool like i gave this thing eight gigs of memory uh and then we look at the disk this is the disk space so we got a 20 gigabyte you know disk and then it gives you the use percentage and it had it uses colors which is you know that's the cool part about it you know it's got colors in here uh so you get quick quickly see what's taken up like how much space is being taken up and how much space is free as well as you know over here on the memory as well and if you look down here there's some network information and it pulls information based on the main network device which this is you know a virtual machine so that's a virtual device and then right here, you know, it's got the, you know, processors, just like in HTOP, you know what I'm saying? You can see what's taking up, you know, memory as well as CPU usage. And right off, it's uh, being sorted by the CPU usage uh, by percentage. So it shows, you know, Bash is using about 1.2% of the CPU. That's the highest out of everything else that's running on the system. And if you look, you know, kind of close, it might be kind of hard to tell, but if you look uh, kind of close, um, you'll see some of the keys that you need to press in order to change things. So let's say you want to get into the filtering. Uh, you, you just press the first letter, which is F uh, and it, it has a different color of the actual key that you need to hit in order to get into that option. But the first thing I want to do is go to the menu, which is up here. So if you see right here, it says menu. So the way to open up the menu is by hitting the M key. So if we hit M, that'll open up the menu. And if you click on the options, so, well, actually I'm not going to click on the options first. I want to click on the help. And this is the, one of the first things you want to do when you open up badge top for the first time. And the reason you want to do that, so you can see all
all the key bindings for the actual application. And it's fairly simple, like show the menu is E, or you can also hit Escape when you're on the main screen and that'll take you to the menu as well. And then right here, these, these are some keys to go to, you know, the options. And it's super cool, man. So if you hit Shift O, that'll, uh, you know show the options you know that makes the capital o so that'll open up the options and if we go back up here to the menu right here you can hit capital m or lowercase m and that'll open up the main menu so it doesn't matter the case the way they wrote their actual program they kind of made it simple so you didn't it would it would be easy for you to figure it all out and then right here you know show this window and then q for quit you know quit the program and you can modify the timer right here then you can select processes by you know up and down arrow and then enter to show details you know page up page down you know the process list so whenever you're hitting the up and down arrows that's mainly focused on the process list and then the home and in that'll jump to the top or that'll jump to the first they'll jump to the end if you hit uh, in or the last page it'll hit in and then you got your left and right arrows and those select previous next you know on the sorting columns so if we hit those right arrows it should sort by something different i'll show you uh because right now it's on cpu lazy i'll show you when i get in there well get back to the main page of the program and it's a couple other options in here i'm not gonna get into it but like well terminate is t kill is k i i interrupt is i so you know the signal interrupt is i so it, they made it super simple on this actual application so let's get out of this port and then let's go to the options i'm not sure what's in here i haven't looked at it yet but they have the oh yeah this is where you can change the color theme so you can go in and we can press enter there and it'll check for the themes within the themes folder and then we can change them so actually i'm gonna change it to this black uh and the reason i'm gonna do that is so you guys can see it better on the recorder and then if you go down you know they have other options that you can modify in here and i'm not gonna mess with any of them but uh you can go through and set the defaults for a lot of this stuff and it'll update the configuration file so let's press escape just to get out of that and then i'm gonna press escape again because that'll get us out of the menu and now you guys can actually see a little bit better because some of this stuff you couldn't see like right up in here uh, in the network I, I noticed that i couldn't see it in the recorder so this makes it a whole lot better but just to show you you know what i'm saying i'm right now it's on cpu lazy so i'm gonna hit the right arrow and there simple it goes to the memory it adjusts it and filters it well not filters it but sorts it by the memory and then you have other options you can go you know user uh threads uh arguments programs and pids so that's pretty cool and then you can go back to your cpu uh which is where i tend to you know keep it and then this typical up and down arrow that'll take you through the processes and then as you can see it the the menu pops up down here at the bottom you know for the terminate kill uh and interrupt and then also they have information so this vbox client and actually let's not go to that well yeah let's go to the vbox client and press enter so by hitting return or enter uh you can press you can see more about that actual process which is pretty cool you know what i'm saying and and the way you close it is just by simply hitting enter again but as you can see it gives you a lot of information or a little bit information you know what i'm saying uh, a little bit more detailed information about that process so that's pretty cool and the way you close it you just simply hit uh enter again and you can see the menu right here you can still terminate you can still kill you can still interrupt uh that specific process so let's press enter to actually close it and that'll close it and go back to the main screen and then we can go back down and look for something else if we need to you know what i'm saying so that's one cool thing about this man and and i really hope you guys check this out man uh this is like i said a great application i'm not gonna go any further with it uh i want you guys to actually check it out for yourself and play around with it the menu or the the help in the menu will tell you everything you need to know about the actual application so you can go through and play around with it for yourself like i said this could be a, a good replacement for htop so instead of using htop you can you know use bash top so you'll get a you know a nicer looking version of htop in my opinion so check this application out man for yourself uh i really recommend it 
it uses a little bit more resources than HTOP or TOP. But if you have a pretty decent system, then you don't have to worry about that as much in my opinion. So uh, take that for what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. I'll put the links down in the description of the video. And as I've been stating in all my videos, I do have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support the channel and support the content, then you guys can sign up for my Patreon for like five dollars a month or whatever. And all that money goes into the to the channel, like the little money that I've been receiving. Uh, I actually put it into a new laptop so I can actually produce better videos for you guys. So anything you donate goes right back into the channel. You know, it's not nothing. I'm. I'm trying to get a come up on, you know what I'm saying, by doing YouTube. No, this is just strictly to show people Linux applications as well as things that I like in Linux in these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, like I said, and keep it techy.